And then you all know here there's freedom. But just just so you know, I'm I I believe there's freedom too. So stand up, move about the room. You're free to move about the cabin. We're all we're all in this together. We're on this flight together. Um, so yeah, let's let's stand. Let's get loose or stand, lie down, whatever you need to do. We breathe you
make space for you.
the ground Dig up the ground The fallow ground in this place Shake up the ground Dig up the ground The fallow ground in this place Shake up the ground sensing there's a new thing there's a there's new revelation he wants to bring this morning so just in agreement with that word would you just release the sound from your spirit whatever it sounds like just let your spirits flow
stirring up deep, deep wells. You're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna dance in the river. Dance in the river. You're stirring up deep, deep wells.
calling the watchmen angels on the wall to come and see with us we're calling all angels we're calling the watchmen angels on the walls to come and see We're calling the watchmen, angels on the walls. Come and sing with us. We're calling all angels. We're calling the watchmen, angels on the walls. To come and sing with us.
flowing and flowing and flowing and healing and healing and healing. It's 
it's rising up in me and it's rising up in me and it's rising up in me and let's sing that again just the voices I've got a river of life flowing out of me It makes the lame to walk and the blind to see It opens prison doors, sets the captives free Oh, I've got a river of life flowing out of love of me Spring up, oh, Within my soul, spring up a well and make me whole. Spring up a well and give to me that life abundantly. It's your life abundantly. Oh my. Wow. This is a great time for us as a family to take communion and uh, share the life that we're experiencing right now. When we take it together, there's unity in that. There's a call of oneness. As a matter of fact, there's been a big shift in the last uh, period of time some of you are aware of here in this house but even as we take communion this morning I want you to hear my word just for a moment and then ponder as you take together the Lord's Supper I don't think anymore that communion is symbolic like I used to as much as I really embrace that I think something really happens in reality and I really want to see that modeled in this church and other places. So before we receive the communion, the cup and the bread, we're going to bless it. We're going to declare that it is, that it is the body of Jesus the Messiah. I'm so grateful to Yahweh. Yahweh sent his son, Yeshua. And he changed my life. He transformed everything I used to be. And I can't take communion anymore. It's just a ritual. It is life to me. It's life to you as well. I mean, we don't have any idea how it's affecting this unseen reality that we're in. But it's changing it. Things are brighter, even in the midst of the gross darkness all around us. You saw them today. They were all over the house, weren't they? I know. I watched her. Her eyes got so big. The angels came in, and they were dancing. And they were so rejoicing. You saw it, didn't you? I watched you. Because it's what has been a longing of them to see us worshiping their King, their Lord, Nothing excites them more than to see us honor him and long to know him. Now, I want you to hear this one last thought, is that we all know that there is power, the power of death in life in the tongue. The things you say, the things that you don't say. <laughs> now, if we're really seated with him in heavenly places and I want to tell you that is the gospel Amen. we're not preaching it like we should be but the gospel is that we are in him seated in him in heavenly places right this very moment yes. because it was him that created everything around us that we're going to enjoy today and through the rest of our time here on this earth he created all things and we can partake of them. You know, I love this young couple sitting up here. They represent the next generation, you know. Amen. 
they're much older than some of the younger generation, but I don't know if you're Z or what your number is right now, but I'm sorry and I apologize to you. The church hasn't told you the whole truth about communion, that you're in Christ and that by being in him, seated in him, then this is life to you. Well, there's power in the tongue. And I think this is the point I want to make, is that this is really part of our sanctification. Because when I take of the broken body of Jesus and I drink of his blood, I remember and I proclaim with my lips. See, there's power in the tongue. I proclaim you are my king, you're my Lord, you're my Messiah, you're all that I need. The wine is alive. Yes. And it changes you when you drink of it. DNA, I'm telling you, you got a lot to learn about it, but our DNA is being changed by what we breathe in and out. What we speak. And today, as you take of this communion supper, you're going to notice, I really believe, in the days that are ahead, there's a fresh awakening. Life is birthed again and again. It seems like that we know we're in life, but it just keeps getting, whoa, I didn't see that one. Where'd that come from? tell you one last story. My friend was in a hospital before COVID. He was having lung condition. He was intubated. And I went to see him and prayed with him and I brought communion which was difficult for him to take being intubated. But I said as soon as they pull that out I want you to take communion every day as we pray for him to be healed. And so they said, okay. <laughs> and they took communion every single day from that moment on. And a few weeks later, I got a call, and he said, you know, I'm going home today. I have to have an oxygen machine, but I'm not on the intubator. I'm going home. Well, I was rejoicing. A week later, he was at the coffee shop with me, and he didn't have even the oxygen machine. Wow. There is power in this communion that we take. It's a DNA changer. Yes. I want you to take your family or your friend. Go to the tables now. Pick up an element that represents but will become as we know it is, really, the DNA of our Lord. And just let's together, with the power of our tongue, bless one another and bless him who made it possible.
So we have the elements, and he was seated around his friends. They enjoyed being together. But they had one last meal. I don't know that they were prepared what was going to come from his lips when he said, This is my body. My body broken. I don't realize, I don't think they did, at least knowing that healing was in that broken body. But he said, take and eat it. Would you do that with me? Take and eat the body of our Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for the miracle of healing of our bodies, our minds, our spirits. Anything that's broken today, I bring you into alignment in the name of Jesus with the healing body of our Lord. And then he said, take the cup and I want you to drink all of it. Not just a sip or two. Drink it all. For this is in remembrance or in the result of sin has been now canceled because of my shed blood. So drink it all. And they did. And he said to them, we're not going to get to do this again until the Lamb's Feast, but do it often for healing. Do it often for salvation. Do it often, not as a ritual, but in remembrance. This is also a very good time to remember those who are suffering and bleeding and dying over in the Middle East, and I care very deeply, as you do. And so part of us extending our prayers is to read this passage, Isaiah 29.7. All the nations fighting against Jerusalem will vanish like a dream. Those who fight against her in her stronghold and distress her will fade like the vision in the night. Isaiah 29, 7. Today we stand in agreement that you love the Jewish people. You're the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They are your chosen people. And so we bless what you bless. And we're asking for peace in Jerusalem today. Peace in Israel. Strength and insight and wisdom. Those who are protecting Israel today. Especially the IDF and their wisdom they need so much. We pray also, Lord, for those who would say they're enemies, but they're not our enemies. Because they were made in your image. And we bless them and we call them. The salvation through Messiah's shed blood. And so we ask God for a miracle to shift what's happening right now in the Middle East. We cry out for the family of Zion. <laughs> Come Lord, 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 Lord. Let there be miracles in your land again. Heal your land. Restore your people. We ask in Messiah's name, Yeshua HaMashiach.
Yeah, the Tapa Sapa.